land on Queen Street was a forest. And when Joseph Schneider purchased his lot, lot 17 of um, you know this 44,000 acre area that the Mennonites purchased, uh, Joseph Schneider was taking his his um, his cart and and Conestoga wagon to uh, you know through through a forest. Schneider Road became Queen Street somewhere around the 1880s. The first houses kind of represent you know the beginning of a village, and people would kind of work out of their houses like these tailors or the farmers. But then. They, then people started building more substantial buildings. In that spot is where Bricker, um, the blacksmith, established his blacksmith shop. Um, and with his blacksmith shop, he then um, he um, built on the property 66 Queen, and then 44 Queen, and then the building beside that that's no longer here, and then 58 Queen where we're doing this interview. There was a good fire on Queen Street. There's always a good fire in every story. And on Queen Street, the best fire was in 1873, and that was when the Franklin Hotel burned down. Um, the auditorium burned down in about 1948. People often ask, what happened to the auditorium? Well, it's not there because um, you know, there's a street went right through the heart of it, and that's Charles Street. Charles Street wasn't there um, until 1960, and you know I call it kind of driving a driving a street through the heart of Queen Street. And I don't I don't know that it did Queen Street a lot of good to have a major thoroughfare go through the middle of the street. That's another story.